Welcome back to Gold Derby's Meet the Experts panel. We are joined today by Jimmy Chin, the director and producer of The Rescue on National Geographic. Everyone remembers the story of the 12 boys and their soccer coach who got trapped in a cave in 2018 in Thailand. But how did you originally become involved in this story? Well, I'm a co-director on the film with my amazing wife, uh, Chai Vassarelli. And, you know, I think that we were both riveted by the story as it was unfolding in real time. Mm -hmm. I think as parents, you know, we were very empathetic to the families involved. Um, but, you know, the way Chai and I work, we're always um, thinking about, you know, these universal uh, themes and ideas that can hopefully transcend even the subject and, and the events themselves. And, and of course, the subtext of, of the stories. And here was a story that we really were moved by um, because at the heart of the of this story is, is uh, this idea of moral courage. And, you know, these divers uh, who end up going in to save these kids really have everything to lose. And, mm -hmm. you know, I think a lot of people feel like they know the story because they followed it. But in fact, I don't think people really know what happened. <laughs> and essentially these kind of amateur divers um, from uh, the UK and, and Australia um, are kind of the only ones that can enact this wild kind of outrageous plan at the end. Um, there's a ticking clock and, and they uh, are the only ones that have the skill set to do this rescue, even though there's the Thai Navy SEALs and the American Air Force PJs, all these special ops rescue teams that are there, they can't do it. And uh, these divers have to go in and, and they really have everything to lose um, by doing this rescue. So we were really moved by this idea of moral courage, um, uh, this idea of generosity and, and selflessness. Uh, and it was also a story about, you know, people coming from very different backgrounds and countries and belief systems to all kind of set aside their differences uh, to come in and, and try to achieve this impossible rescue. And, th and that, that we felt was also timely given how divided the world is. Mm. And the film, it blends together real life footage with dramatic reenactments and the reenactments featured the actual divers just kind of recreating the, what, what really happened. Um, and at times you couldn't even tell as a viewer what was what was a real footage and what was something that was recreated. Can you talk a bit about that process? Yeah, I mean, I think every film has its challenges. I mean, even all the panelists today, I mean, these stories and these films uh, always pose very unique challenges. And that's part of being a, a filmmaker, a documentary filmmaker is, is taking these kind of really these constraints and these challenges and hopefully turning them into opportunities. I mean, we're all filmmakers, but really we're creative problem solvers in some way. Um, I mean, we're storytellers too, but it's, it's we had some pretty significant uh, challenges with this film in the fact that the principal action of the rescue was there was very, very little footage, barely anything, you know? And, you know, for film, um, for us as filmmakers, you know, we always like to bring people into the moment, um, really immerse people into uh, these, these stories. And, you know, without any <laughs> real footage inside this cave, which is pitch black and a submerged cave, <laughs> which is, full of really muddy water, you know, um, there just wasn't anything to speak of. And this was really the first film that Chai and I worked on where we weren't there for the principal action. Uh, mm. So we knew that in order to bring in, 
to bring people into this film and, and, and to give a really visceral experience. Uh, we either had to animate or uh, shoot reenactments of, of the principal action. And we were very clear that we wanted to do reenactments. And, you know, because of authenticity and accuracy are hugely important to us, uh, we thought, okay, well, why don't we bring the actual participants, the divers together, and have them demonstrate exactly what they did uh, while they were in the rescue. So we were able to get them all together and uh, brought them to a studio tank in the UK. And we had all the kind of scenes and shots that we really wanted to shoot, you know, really kind of uh, lined out. And we would ask them to demonstrate how they, you know, did the rescue at very specific moments, you know. Uh, Jason, how many tanks were you carrying when you were going between chamber eight and chamber nine on day 17? And what were you doing and how were you doing it? And they literally, they brought all the same, you know, dive suits and they had the equipment and uh, they were able to, you know, just do what they do. And it was a great process for us because they are, you know, very exacting individuals, as you can imagine. And so for them to get the details perfect was also really important. Um, that authenticity element was really important. So what people are seeing on the screen is actually accurate to the moments that we're portraying, um, really just to give people a sense of like how insane this rescue was and what it's like to dive with, you know, in a submerged cave two kilometers in uh, with a sedated child with their hands tied behind their backs and their feet tied behind, you know, tied together uh, and, and try to enact this, this just incredibly daring um, rescue. No, you guys did such a good job. I felt like I was there in the cave. I felt the claustrophobia and the, and the the darkness and the mud around me. Good. <laughs> yeah, and, that was the that was the intention and the hope. So, a lot of attention is given to the volunteer diver who lost his life down in the caves when his oxygen ran out. Uh, how important was it to tell his story and, and honor his life? You know, one thing that we really wanted to do, and and this was another big challenge, was just. The story is so fragmented and there were so many people there. There were thousands of people there. So there were just so many different ideas of what happened, you know, and a lot of people who were there were not aware of what other people were doing. But, you know, just as filmmakers, we wanted to make sure that we included multiple perspectives. Um, it wasn't just the British divers and the Australian doctor that, you know, they were kind of the spearhead, but there was this huge conglomeration of, of different volunteers. And, you know, the Thai Navy SEALs had a very critical role in, you know, making this rescue happen. They were managing the site. Uh, they had to deal with all the logistics and yet, even though they were the Thai Navy SEALs, they just didn't have the right skill set or even the right equipment because all of this equipment that they need for cave diving, which is such a specific fringe kind of genre within diving, and it's by far the most risky. Um, this, the special ops Thai Navy SEALs were, you know, they're trained in underwater warfare, they're trained in covert ops, but they're not trained in cave diving or cave rescue, cave diving rescue. So uh, we really wanted to kind of bring them in and share their perspective. And ultimately, you know, in some ways they risked more than the, the British divers and the Australian divers because they didn't have the skill set or the equipment. And you know, in the end, uh, one of their divers made the ultimate sacrifice. Uh, and we wanted to make sure that we honored his story and his legacy. Uh, and, you know, I think it, it really represents 
the mindset of these Thai Navy SEALs who were just unwilling to, to quit. And, and, you know, even there's a moment in the film when the British divers kind of call it off because they're like, it's not possible. But the Thai Navy SEALs stuck with it. And they were like, no, we're not going to give up. And then eventually the UK divers come back and, and they, you know, really, um, you know, join forces again with the Thai Navy SEALs to, to do the rescue. Mm. Well, it's, it's such a gripping movie. It's like an action movie in some places. I, I hope everyone goes out and watches it. Uh, thank you for chatting with us today, Jimmy. Yeah, thank you for having me.